Hi everyone, welcome to day 28 of my 100 day challenge. Today we will be solving one of the SQL questions asked in Amazon Data Analyst interview. So let's see the question. So the question says you have a table of daily sales of Amazon data. Write a SQL query to find the total sales for each weekend. Weekends means which is Saturday and Sunday in July 2024. So let's go to PG Admin 4 and let's solve this question. Now you can see I have already created table and inserted the data which you can get from the video descriptions. Now before continuing the video, I would request you to pause the video, go to video descriptions and download the data set. Try to create the table and insert this data and try to solve this question by yourself. If you are not able to solve it, then you can continue watch the video and see my approach. Then you can try to solve by yourself. So let's see how we should solve this question. Now you can see we have the data with ID, sale date and the sale amount. And it seems we have the data for 2024 for June and July month. We need to find out only the data for July month. So let's write down our approach we should follow to solve this question. So first of all, we need to filter the data. So first we need to filter the data for 2024 and uh, July month, right? So we need to fi first filter the data for 2024 and July month. Now we need the data for each weekends. So if you see the data, we only have the sale date. So we do not have anything called weekends. So we need to create a column called weekends based on this date column. So we need to create call weekends column. Now in the weekends, the days that we will consider, which is going to be Saturday and Sunday. So these are the two days that we will consider in the weekends. Then what we need to find out for each weekend, what is the total sales we have done that that means we need to find out each weekend and total sale. Now to find each weekend and the total sales, we need to do a group by. So we need to do a group by, we need to do a group by, by each weekend then we can get the aggregated sale for each weekend so let's start writing the query so i will be using first of all i will create the week columns to show you how we can create week columns so i will first use this column which is called a sale and date now i will simply go ahead and select that extract extract week from sale date so that is going to give me the week number from this uh, sale date column and I'm just going to save it called as week number. Okay. So this is the first thing that I will do. Now second, let me first run this query and let's see what happens if I execute this query. Now I can see for each date we have the week number of the year, right? So if you want to understand how this week number is working, so you can simply go ahead and run this outside of this query. So let's say I want to see how this week number is working so i would say select extract week number from a date let's say i give a date called 2024 to see what is the week number of the first day of the 2024 so you just need to convert this data so you simply say date now we will just run this and the answer is going to be one you can see if you just see the second month which is february first and date what was the week so you will see fifth so each seven days as a combination of the week right so that is how we count the week number so what we have now here is basically for each date we have the week number now we can do a group by by the week number to see each week and their sale so that is what we will do but the thing is that we need only weekends sale we don't need the sale for rest of the day we only need the sale for saturday and sunday so that means we need to filter the data for weekends and also we need to filter the data for only july 2024 so let's go ahead and say I will use where conditions to filter the data and I'm going to say where and I would say sale date. So from this sale date, I will simply filter the data for weekends and the July 2024. So the way we can filter is that we need to first convert this date into the year and month. So I would for that I will be using something called to care functions. So I will use to care functions to convert this into First of all, year and month. So I would say yy dash mm and I would say yy y mm and uh, that is going to give me the data in the shape of yy and uh, yy and mm, which is year, complete year, then dash, then month number. Okay, then I'm going to I'm going to simply compare it with 2024 and 07. Okay, now if in case you want to verify this function as well. Let me just write this function here okay so let's say i want to see the you know from these functions 
I want to see the year and the month number okay so I will just need to say select and uh, to see the result okay so let's run it and we will see the result in this uh, format so I need is that yy and mm so let's go ahead and execute this okay now you can see we have the this date that is converted into 2024 and 2 the reason why we are doing this is that this is a text so we are converting into date so that we can use these functions and here is it also this is a text we are converting the text into date and then we are converting back to text in this format which you can see it here okay so this is the how we are filtering the data only for july 2024 and the second condition we want to ensure that the data is only we select for the weekend which is saturday and sunday so for that i will be using day of the week function here which is called dow so this day of the week return a number from any date so if you want to check here you can just simply say dow and that is going to return the number of the any date so if you just run it see it's showing four let me just give you a current date so you can understand so i would say current date so from the today date from my system is going to return the day of the week so today is wednesday and you can see the wednesday means which is three monday means one tuesday means two and wednesday means three so this is returning day of the week so we will use this function here okay so i'm going to say here extract and i would say from this sale date okay so i would say dow which is day of the week that is day of the week number from this sale date and i will simply say in and i will compare it with the six and zero six means saturday and zero means you know sunday so if, so this function that i am entering here that is going to select only the data for which is six and zero so if you want to verify it we can just run this query and this is going to only select the data of six and zero which is saturday and sunday if you want to verify it there is one way one more way we can verify it so we can run a functions called to care and uh, we can select this sale date and uh, we can say that day so this will convert this sale date into a day name so let's run it and you will see the data is only for saturday and sunday we can even use these functions here as well to compare it okay now if we just don't select all this filter okay just i run it till here to show you the data so you will see that this is returning each day right this function that we have entered to care this is returning each day so this is converting this date into a day name right so the same functions we are using now we can see we are getting the data for each weekends so this is our first weekend this is our second weekend this is our third weekend we have the data for all three weekends now we need to find out each weekends and the total sale that is our main goal right so what we will do is that we will go ahead and here we can say group by group by one that means i'm doing a group by by this which is the week number and now i will not select all of this okay i will also ignore this what i next need is that sum on sale amount okay on the sale amount because i want to aggregate it sum for each week number right so this is the week number one you can see so that is 28 this is the week number two this is the week number three so i will need aggregated sum that is going to be my total sale for weekends okay so let's go ahead and execute it and we will have our answer so now you can see each weekends and their sale so it seems like in this weekend we have done the highest sale which is 30th weekend right so this is how we have solved this question today you can share your approach in the comment box have a good day see you tomorrow take care bye bye